you know, if we were fortunate enough to advance and, and you know, they could really have a nice little memory book. You and Milwaukee guys already talked about limiting distractions. How important will that be, or are we overstating it? Because it's an easy story. Yeah, it's an easy story. Um, you know, you know, it's it's. You can look at it two ways, you know, hey, uh, all right, you can worry about the distractions or you've got a senior oriented group that they need to handle. I told them you got you know, you got to be men and, and handle yourselves the right way. Uh, it's about winning right now. Uh, I think our guys understand that. Um, and those guys are selfless and they've been selfless. So uh, they'll minimize those. Um, I won't harp on it too much. I'll talk about it once or twice and then that's it. Uh, and then it'll just be mostly about Nevada. Uh, on the flip side, we're five hours from Ames, Iowa. That's really good. Did Seth Davis give you guys a little bulletin board material? Though? Seth, and I know Seth well, man, but Seth's been doubting us, uh, doubted us last year, doubts us this year. I know he said Nevada to the Sweet 16, and, and they're very they're very good. I mean, Nevada's really, really good. And, but like I said, you know, uh, I've been on that other side. Those teams are really good. Uh, but we'll prepare the right way, and our guys will be ready to go. And, you know, maybe one day Seth will pick us. <laughs> Describe yourself as a bracket junkie, dude. Did you kind of end up where you thought you might? As you know, I was seeing? thinking Milwaukee, Indianapolis, and then Tulsa. And then when I heard Baylor and Kansas would probably have Tulsa, then I was like, hey, probably Milwaukee or Indianapolis. And actually, I was pretty impressed. I had a, uh, a guy in Nashville that covered me a lot when I was back at Murray. He texted me today, and he said, I think it's I, my, my pick is 5-12 Nevada and Milwaukee. And so uh, kudos to him. Is your so. buddy Joel Lenardi? <laughs> no, 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 no. Lenardi had has 5-12. He just, uh, you know, with middle. But, you know, middle ended up being a 12. And those guys, it's amazing how close they are. You know, sometimes not team-wise, but seating. Do you think one 9 out of 10 going into the tournament? There aren't a lot of Power 5 conference schools that can say that. How good does it feel to be going to the tournament playing like that? Well, we're playing well. We're playing well. And if we can maintain our defensive effort and our toughness that we had last night, uh, continue to share the ball, then we can do good things. So you got to play well. You got to play well for 40 minutes to win this tournament. We understand that. And I think our seniors know that. Do you know anybody in the Mountain West that you're going to call and try to get the scouting report? Or? I know a couple. I got to go through the league again one more time, but yeah. uh, I, I know a couple. And so, uh, you know, the biggest thing you look at the games that, you know, they didn't struggle much. You go 28 and six, you don't struggle a lot, but you know. You just do your due diligence to prepare as best you can. What can you tell us about them? Uh, what style do they play? You know, I don't know. That's what I, I don't, yeah. you know, I I haven't seen. <laughs> you know, the only thing I've seen on them is if we're up 15 with about a minute to go or two minutes to go, that we better continue to take care of the ball and, and get back on defense and contest shots because uh, that comeback they had in New Mexico was amazing. How much fun is this right now for you guys? It's great, but it's about winning. Winning's fun. You know, that's what somebody told me a long time ago. You know, uh, when I was an assistant a long time ago, the trainer said, guys aren't having any fun. I was like, well, we're 6 and 17. <laughs> <laughs> Who's having fun? I mean, winning's fun. And so, yeah, we're having a lot of fun, but I think we are also focused and disciplined. You get through the weekend healthy. I mean, the guys are on a yeah, days and yeah, days. So. And we'll take tomorrow off outside of, you know, we'll have a, you know, they've got an open lift time. Yeah. Uh, they'll probably shoot on these on, on their own for a little bit because these guys, that's what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll watch film on Nevada at 3.30. And then they'll be off the rest of the day, and then and then we'll start our encore preparations on Tuesday. Is it easy to turn the page from the emotions that all culminated yesterday? Yeah, it's turned now. Yeah, it's turned now. I I, I went through uh, my pictures one last time on the way over here, and uh, it's on in the bottom. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.